Hi everyone, so we made it out of California. We're now in Sedona. Uh, it's an awesome place. It's beautiful and there's great mountain biking. Um, it's been one of my passions for my entire life. Uh, we've had a couple mountain bikes with us at all times. The old bike rack that we had worked fairly well, uh, but we got really good news that the whole system was going to be upgraded. So last visit at Go Westy, they installed the brand new bumper system, uh, including a bike rack. And so far we have loved it. I thought it'd be good if I gave you guys a quick walkthrough and showed you some of the features. Before we get into the rear bumper setup, I thought it'd be great if I showed you the front bumper. We were actually able to put a skid plate on because we were able to move the spare tire to the back bumper setup. Uh, this gives good protection for any hoses and wiring coming up to the front of the van and also the power steering rack. The bumper here is Go Westy's plate steel bumper, uh, super strong, uh, really robust. On top of that is mounted a two inch receiver. Um, this can be used for anything, but right now we're using it to hold a high lift jack. We have a universal carrier, which is this tall beam that goes up. Uh, we also had the rung kit attached to it so that we could put on Yakima bike racks. Um, this bike rack is great for uh, bikes with standard QR. They're going to be road bikes, um, older mountain bikes. They're works really well. Uh, this rack system is for bikes that maybe are a little bit bigger. This can fit up to a 29 inch wheel. Um, if you have a 15 millimeter front axle or 20 mil, 20 mil front axle and you don't want to be using fork ups, this is a great option. I also got a little nerdy and at our stay in California, uh, I, my friend and I welded up this bike stand holder so I actually have a bike workstation on the back of the van and this has been super useful um, really really like it on the other side over here uh, we went with a spare tire um, and this is actually a really cool system it's a reverse spare tire holder and I'll show you what that means in a second above it we have our drinking water so this is a rotopack system that you can mount right to the same universal carry that's on this side and we can carry four gallons of water on the outside and we have a two and a half gallon tank on the inside. On the outside of the wheel here we have the trash roo which is just a really utilitarian bag. Uh, I put our recyclables in it, I also put wetsuits, wet clothes, it's a good way to um, just get wet stuff out of the van or out of your, out of your box that's on top. Emily has also found it very helpful because she can store her hula hoop back here. That's toss, right. <laughs> toss this to the side. Uh, now the true magic with this whole system is that it does give us, give us access to the back hatch and to the coolant and oil door here. Uh, and it's, it's real simple. There's a latch on the top of the universal carrier and then there's a latch down here on the universal swing away arm. You let that slide open like that, come to the other side, let that slide open. You want to make sure that you keep your hand on the swing away as it goes out because it has a really powerful strut and it'll actually slam open. As you can see, we can easily get into this door now without any trouble. Um, we can now use our screen that goes in the back. It, it really opens up the van a lot and makes it a lot nicer. This is actually what they call a reverse tire carrier and has a cover over it. So this unit actually locks on this big, it's like a plate door. And that allows you to have the whole space inside the wheel to store stuff. Um, it's a good, a good, also a good place to store wetsuits. If they're wet, you want to make sure no one can just nab them real easy. Um, I have heard, heard of people of using it to store fish they've caught, keep them out of the van. It's a smart thing to do. Um, but a really cool system, super safe. And here, supposedly, they're going to be putting a magnetic dartboard on this, so it'll act as some fun activity when you're in the desert, too. Now, let me show you how to put the bikes on. So this bike rack system is pretty slick uh, for a few reasons. The bikes sit 
uh, vertically so there's not so much drag as when you have them hanging off the back of the van. Um, it also keeps them up a little bit higher uh, so they don't collect so much road debris. It's pretty simple to load them up. For Emily's bike here, which is QR, I'm simply gonna stick the fork right over that and lock her down. Now you can add locks to this to make it a little bit more secure. And then you just simply ratchet the rear wheel down. So her front wheel comes off. They have a, a separate wheel holder here. So you bring this down, slide the wheel in, and then you tighten it up. And voila, you're ready to go. I usually let it rest on the pedals. For my bike, I use a little bit different rack system. This accommodates a, a bike with a bigger, bigger wheel and also it's easier to load a bike that has a bigger axle of the 15 or 20 mils. So you simply take the bike, load the front wheel into the cradle right here, like so. Then there's a ratchet that holds the rear wheel in place. To keep the front wheel secure, I tighten down this knob until I get pressure. After a little shake test, you're ready to go. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, there'll be a subscribe button right here. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll try to answer as best we can. Thanks for watching.